So, alright then. With the lost episode found, we can continue, everybody. So yes, if you're wondering what the heck, where are you, what's going down, you need to watch said lost episode that I put out on a Thursday. Uh, because, for those who don't know, I may or may not have recorded a shipwreck Saturday last Saturday and have forgotten to uh, turn my mic on by chance. So, yep, that sucked. And you know as I'm leaving the volcano... Also realizing that it is actually dry season, uh, I'm thinking, did I even do anything to prepare for dry season at all? And, um, well, considering the fact that I haven't made an endothermic fire yet, no, I don't think I have. So that is task number one, and I should probably do that as soon as possible. Also, holy moly, why is my boat so dang damaged? It was like below a hundred. That is dangerous. You know what's not dangerous in dry season, even though that one just whizzed right by us? Waves. In dry season, as the season goes on, there are less and less waves. Ah, see? See, see, see. If you guys watched the last episode, you know that I was putting these coral reefs here to act as barriers against the waves, and you could see it working right there that's good stuff but yeah my goodness what the heck did i do i don't know maybe i was just running in the waves not really paying attention but i don't think i have much to do with niter so it looks like i'm gonna have to take some trips thankfully we got some magma biomes real close but what else are we gonna do today well speaking of that coral we can probably make some pretty darn good headway on some end game stuff because here's the thing about dry season it's annoying, yes, just like the summer heat is annoying, but there's no boss, and there's no wildfires in Shipwrecked. So really, it's just the volcano we need to worry about, and the volcano doesn't start erupting until all the water has been off the islands. All the flooding and stuff is done, so we got time galore. So, no need. No need. Oh, it's a crocodog wave, everybody. Now, in the lost episode that I'm probably going to be referring to way too much, <laughs> I did bring them to the Balfins that are somewhere over here. I don't remember exactly where they are, actually, which kind of sucks. But uh, I just want to show this live, I guess. I don't remember where the Balfins are. Hold up. Wait a minute. Found them. Now, just watch how crazy powerful Balfins are. It's kind of unbelievable. Even with this amount of Crocodogs, especially when they're distracted by me. Look at that. They're just slaughtering them. Oh, my goodness gracious, dude. And it's just, you know, that whole thing about how Dolphins in real life help humans against sharks. This is the whole thing. Oh, my gosh, dude. Absolutely flip and slaughter them. Thank you so much, you cute but deadly things. Well, all my food has rotted on me for the most part, but this is a good as time as any to get some ice. Oh, goodness gracious, everybody. Okay, that's actually the second warning. <laughs> that's the second warning, because the first warning actually went off as I was telling you guys that we had some time. <laughs> I kind of wanted to surprise you, but uh, okay, surprise is over. Yeah, that's the second warning, everybody. That's the second warning. Um, do I want the first, do I want the first one to go off? Probably. Which one? That's a Doidoi -doi Island. Do not do it on that island for sure. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do it on this island. This island has been very good to me. Might as well just launch them on there, I guess. That's fine. That's fine. And, uh, we got some fun things to do today with the one true earring, of course. But, yeah, for right now... But right now, might as well just be prepared for this incoming volcano eruption. Oh, I was just thinking I could have just used my new elephant cacti area to do uh, the crocodile thing. But nope, nope, nope. Oh, wait. Yeah, thermals are so freaking broken in this game. Uh, so we had our third warning. It's coming. It's coming in like <laughs> a minute or two, folks. A minute or two. So really... Maybe I will fight some dragoons, because I was just in the volcano, of course, getting a crap ton of obsidian. Um, obsidian's the easy bit. The harder bit is getting the dragoon hearts. Dragoons are easy to fight, but my goodness, the drop rate on their hearts for whatever reason always feels so incredibly low. But we need them in order to make some cool tools. Pretty much the ancient crafting of shipwrecked is uh, the obsidian workbench and all that, but we'll be talking about that later. Because right now, we got flying meatballs to deal with. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Stay away from those coconades over there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, so these things, dragoon egg. Oh, pfft, just exploded your own one. So here's the thing about dragoon eggs, everybody. Oh, goodness me. Um, they stick around for only a little bit, and you're able to mine them, actually, to prevent the dragoons from hatching, 
which, you know, I'll probably do for a little bit because I don't want to fight 18 dragoons at once. And this first, um, this first eruption is not going to be that big at all, as you can see, because it's already over. So, I'll give you an idea of what I mean. If I make some of these, then you can mine these, and this just means that no dragoon is going to come out, which is fine. It takes a lot, though. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. It might be hard to tell because, you know, the dang stupid smog and everything, but uh, they'll do a little hop, and then they'll actually start to glow a little bit. That gives you an idea that they're about to be uh, close to hatching. Now, these lava pools, if I had some ice, I'd be able to toss lava into them, or <laughs> toss lava, toss ice into the lava pools, and I'd be able to, uh-oh, I'd be able to, um... Uh, get some obsidian that way. It's another way to get obsidian. Although, you know, blowing up the obsidian boulders is probably the easiest way to do that anyway. Okay, for now, time to leave these guys and fight some dragoons. Oh, and I just had a terrible idea, everybody, and it's a really bad idea, especially if I don't freaking throw it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's what happens when you do not do this uh, super duper properly, by the way. Okay, okay. So you want to light it, then equip it, and then throw it, okay? That's what you want to do. <laughs> Don't do it the way I did it, or else you're going to blow yourself up. Okay, let's try this again. Light, equip, and then throw. Okay, good. Now, just, oh, you just walked away from it too. That was completely worthless. But hello, dragoons. How do dragoons work? They have this little, oh boy, they have this little uh, dash attack. Just whoop, just like that. But, oh boy. Other than that, they're pretty easy. Okay. <laughs> Dragoon hard in the first drop. Remember I said these were hard to get? Uh, they're not. I'm sorry. What? Nightmares can get damaged from Krizzers? All right, everybody. I just learned something new. But you get the idea. They have this little dash maneuver that you can very, very easily dodge, as you can see. So boom, boom, okay, got that one, fine. I think it's one heart per tool, which, you know, that's why they're so dang rare, of course. But these spiders, you know what? I need to kill these spiders. I want to uh, continue working on our fish farms because there is a boss that maybe we will look into fighting this season just because, you know, give us something to do apart from just dodging meatballs and offering to the volcano and all that nonsense. And I might as well up my fire situation, should I not? So boom, bada bang, then I'm gonna have to pick you up, boom, boom, boom. So that is, whoopsie daisy, I forgot, I need two more of you, fine, fine, fine. And then do, 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 I got endothermic fire pit. Uh, sure, let's put it right there, I guess. Boom, bada, bang. Just surround myself in fire. Also, the obsidian fire pit. Now, this thing is ridiculous. <laughs> it is absolutely ridiculous. You know what? Yeah, I'll put it right there. You're not going to be able to tell now, of course. But, um, come tomorrow night. Let's just say... It's not going to look like tomorrow night. Oh boy, I'm sorry, Berry Bushes. Yep, I easily, easily could have been able to save these, and I just, well, didn't, obviously. Didn't cross my mind when I was playing last week. I was too occupied, and then by the time I was finished with the elephant cacti plot, which, by the way, I don't know why I'm looking all the way over here on the map. What the heck am I doing? It's right there. Um, you know, I showed this in the fabled Lost episode, but this is what it looks like, folks. This is our little, uh, oh gosh, this is our little elephant cacti area. Probably going to be updating it again soon, but, 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 I need grass, of course. I need grass, of course, because I thought it was silk that was the limiting factor. No, 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 not at all. It's really just the coconuts. That's easy to get, too. The grass is what I need for all the rope that I would need to make, but even then, it's not that bad. Man, fish farms? A lot easier to make than I thought. Oh, slight problem. I used all my grass during last week's episode <laughs> to burn all the elephant cacti. Okay, yeah. All my reserves are gone, and now probably all the grass in the world is pretty much withering. Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. Oh, but with my Ice Maker 3000 putting in some work, I might be able to pull this off here. So boom, bada, bang, and then get some of these, even though it's still gonna be cutting it close for Pete's sake. So that's that, that. And then of course, oh wait, I'd already made one? Whoopsie daisy that I didn't need you. Where did I, wait a minute. Oh, 
the Ice fling blueprint from the first episode. That's right. And holy crap, why is the Ice fling seem way freaking bigger in Solo Don't Starve than it does in Don't Starve Together? Oh, this sucks, though. It's not going to be able to reach everything. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. That's the power of an Ice fling with withered stuff, folks. Oh, we saved this. So now we don't have to fertilize things. But the problem is now they got to regrow, <laughs> which is going to take some time. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, goodness gracious. That is also the second warning once again. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. We will be appeasing the Lady of the Volcano. But, uh, you know, for these first couple, it's more fun. Just more fun to just be dodging. And besides, we need these Dragoon Hearts. Oh, eruption number two is incoming, everybody. And this time, I'm going to be uh, keeping more of the Dragoon Eggs uh, around. Let's see if we can get some more hearts here. See if we get some more hearts. We got to make these trips to the volcano later. Definitely, definitely worth it, if you know what I mean. All right, so I just got extremely lucky on that first Dragoon Heart because I've gotten nothing since. So great work. I guess I can just keep continuing to work towards what I want to work towards, which is more and more fish farms. I'm going to be making eight fish farms. Um, you know, I come to realize why. Oh, looky, looky who decided to show up. I hardly ever see you guys. So here's the deal about uh, Palm Tree Guardians. Uh, they're very easy to deal with. Let me show you how, but you won't be getting any loot, which sucks. So get them all together, light one on fire, and they'll just constantly, constantly dance and set each other on fire over and over and over again. <laughs> they can't put it out. They just cannot put it out as Palm Tree Guardians. So this is a very easy way to get rid of them. The problem is, you'll literally burn up everything. So, yeah, that's not really recommended. Unless, of course, they put themselves out. And you know what else they drop? Coconuts, which is just perfect. Oh my gosh, again already? Holy moly guacamole. Am I crazy? Why did that volcano feel so... The eruptions, I mean. Why did they feel so close together? I don't know. That was one of the fastest ones ever. Usually... They get that fast when it gets closer to the end of dry season, but there's still eight days left. What the heck was that game? All right, Volcano, someone needs to slow your roll. And that's what I'm here for. But I'm doing something first, something different first, not the one true earring. So how this works, or at least the gist of it, there's segments and certain sacrifices uh, allow for bigger segments. Doi Doi Feathers, Give 16 segments, and that equates to two full days of delay. So the volcano is not going to erupt for another two full days. Now, when we come back later, I got something even better for it. And that's two days to do what I wish to. And that is get some more bananas for some banana pops. But also, I got to get these fish farms going. Um, the hardest bit of the fish farms is 100% going to be the row. 100% going to be the row. I've only found two so far in this entire playthrough. Which is ridiculous. Yeah, that's going to be... What the heck? Why am I not getting... I'm not even getting egg drops. I'm not even getting banana drops. What are you doing to me today, game? Also, what the heck am I doing in-game? You know what I mean? Like, I've been saying I wanted to do all this stuff, and I could easily do it, and I'm like, not. <laughs> I'm just getting too distracted by the volcano, I think. One of the things that I should have been doing from the start of dry season is just that. Picking all those dang things. Also, these are ready. And I need all this grass to finish task number one for Pete's sake. <laughs> I need to get fish farms going. I could have been done with this days ago. See what happens when you actually focus. There we go, everybody. Really only one more, and that's kind of all you need. <laughs> you, ooh, that is fantastic timing. You do not need that many fish farms. You just don't. You just absolutely don't. But, you know, it's kind of nice to have. Nice to have. So, 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 so. Uh, I'm pretty sure tomorrow the volcano is going to be able to explode again. But... We got, uh, we got an ace in the hole, as we say. Everything I've just been alluding to over and over and over again. It's finally time to finish it. Oh, and this is it, folks. This is the last volcano eruption of the day. Because after this one, it is all about appeasement. All about appeasement. So hopefully... Well, I guess I could always just kill the dragoons on top of the mountain. Hopefully, I at least get one more dragoon heart for Pete's sake. Because, yeah, I haven't... Oh, gosh. I haven't gotten a single one since that very first kill. 
which is kind of insane. But proves the point that yes, Dragoon Hearts hard to come by. Hey, so remember that Obsidian Coconade we found many, many, many parts ago? Yeah, let's put it to use and let's uh, hopefully not do this wrong. Boom, 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 boom. Throw, throw, throw. Obsidian Coconades have insane range. <laughs> insane range. Their explosion radius is unbelievable. And with those Coconades that uh, we found over the many, many parts, I've got myself a very, very healthy amount of Obsidian, especially because last week I also used Gunpowder to get Obsidian. So that's great, but allow me allow me to explain something that I probably didn't really explain very well last time because I was kind of moving very fast. Oh boy, and it's getting close. Um, so the altar of sacrifice. Uh, there's a tier list of things that have certain levels of appeasement, of course, and uh, usually going by like four points. Four points. Eight points is a full day. So 16 points is two days. That's why I was telling you earlier, doi doi feathers are pretty darn good. It's two, oh goodness, it's two days of appeasement. Um, and a lot of the other things like jellyfish and stuff are only four days. But there are actually things that give you negative. That you can make the Lady of the Volcano even angrier faster. And you can like instantly set one off. Which is somewhat okay, I guess. But not a very good idea to do when you're up here. Now... Unlike Mordor, it is very simple to walk up to the Altar of Snackifice and toss in the one true earring. The one true earring, everybody. Oh, boy. It's 32 segments. That is four days. Four days of appeasement. So, there's four days left. It means I'm free. <laughs> I'm free. It is over. My trip is done. Oh, wait. Not exactly. Because I need to get myself some more Dragoon Hearts. Because I swear to you, man, oh my gosh, they're so rare today. For whatever reason, I cannot get a Dragoon Heart. It is unbelievable. I only have one, and I've killed so many Dragoons. They, oh my gosh, coffee is just, coffee's too good. <laughs> coffee's too good. The speed, and then of course the extra speed you get from being on top of the volcano since it's such a smaller map. Oh. Oh, but please just give me your frickin' hearts for Pete's sake. So after all of that, everybody, after all of that, only two. I only have two. So here's the deal. I already have Obsidian Spear, and it's still at 93%. I have a Volcano Staff for free on an island very close to mine. I have Obsidian Armor for free on an island very close to mine. I just use an Obsidian Coconade, and my goodness, they're just way too dangerous. The Howling Conch, yeah, I'll just make for fun eventually, but it's totally worthless. And the Sail Stick, the same deal. So really, I'm just going to make an Obsidian Axe. And honestly, nope, you know what? Ooh, ooh. Considering how we might, just might, venture into Hamlet, bringing an obsidian machete into Hamlet, that sounds very fun. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I think he's coming again, everybody. At least I'm saying that he's coming. It could be one of those pseudo waves, just like happens with deer clops sometimes. You hear it, but you don't actually hear it. Okay, uh, you know what? Yeah, I can probably make this pit stop over here real quick. Uh, kill this only bloody swordfish in this entire game, apparently. That's even remotely close to anything. And, uh, well, it looks like we have ourselves another seal NATO fight. Another one, which is unbelievable. Speak of the devil, and he shall appear, everybody. Hello, seal NATO. Now, I don't like you being here, actually. I need you on an island, or at least close to an island, so, you know, when I kill you, we actually spawn Krampus for Pete's sake. So, if you would not mind, after your spinny cyclone attack, follow me this way. I'm just gonna do the same thing I did in the Lost episode. Ow, do the same thing I did in the Lost episode, everybody. Kill him on the water, or not kill him on the water, weak him on the water, and then kill him on the land. Sound good? Sounds good to me. But the seal NATO fight on the water, very easy. Um, probably even easier than it is on the on the land. And in fact, I think it's way easier on the water than it is on land. Because you see this cyclone attack. Yeah, on land, that sucks you in and deals insane amount of damage. Just an absolute insane amount of damage. On the water, all it is is waves. And you can obviously dodge waves very easily or just have them break up on you just like that. And then, of course, why am I dealing so much damage to them? The Cutlass Supreme does more damage to the sealed NATO. It's a little hidden thing that it has going on for it. But, again, make sure don't kill him yet. Let's jump over here. Come on, buddy. This way, this way, this way. Thank you very much. Get your swing in. And then, oh, no, 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 no. And then dead. Good. 
Then, kill this son of a gun. And then Crappy Boy should be showing up soon enough. Crap is number one. Nope, there's gonna be multiple crap eyes, so I gotta be careful here. Gotta be careful, or not. Oh no, there they are, good. So, boom, 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 boom. Nothing from you, what about you, what about you? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, that guy's over there, be careful, be careful. Nothing, and nothing, son of a gun. Is that all of them? It might be. So here we go again, <laughs> another magic seal and another freaking turbine blade for even more stuff. Uh, yeah, that was probably the last Krampus. How we doing, by the way? I happen to join the Doi Doi Island. I see the baby still. Where the heck? Okay, there's you. Uh, so the baby hasn't even grown up yet? Oof. How? It's been many, many days. It's not even a teenager yet? Unless I, I'm missing one. <laughs> there might be, might be a lost Doi Doi somewhere on this island. I don't know. But, uh, man, have you also noticed the cave desync going on? On the volcano, we're like 10 days behind. That's kind of crazy. But I think it's time we kind of chill out for these last three days. I think I'm going to spend the rest of the recording just going around trying to find Roe. I think that's the plan. Oh, there's something else we need to work towards as well. And it has to do with breaking the game all over again with lucky hats. <laughs> yes, indeed, everybody. Two more lucky hats coming right at us. Good Flipping stuff. It's been a little while, but with dry season ending and just all these seasons ahead of us where we really don't have to worry about too much, it's time to just get insane amount of stuff, man. Just insane amount of stuff. Good, 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 good. Oh, oh, oh by the way, it's about to be nighttime, but um, let me show you something. So, yes, it's nighttime. You can obviously see that with the uh, combined status stuff up in the top right there. It's nighttime. Look at how insane the obsidian fire pit is. <laughs> it is unbelievable. It's so good. Oh, I was actually gonna end, you know. I wasn't gonna go looking for Roe. But you yeah, hear that? The Croco Dogs. So what I'm gonna end on today is even more murder. But not at my hand. At the hand of my elephant cacti. Let's see how good this thing is gonna perform, folks. And then, yeah, I think we'll be wrapping it up for the day. Because it was an active day for sure. Yes, this is... Oh, no, they passed through it. Darn it. I was gonna say, man, this is gonna be perfect. They're gonna get stuck. But they didn't actually get stunk. Uh, hmm. Gonna have to work on that a bit. I was hoping that they would get trapped in the corners. And it would be, like, just total slaughter. But, you know, it's still total slaughter even if they don't get trapped into the corners. But good, 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 good. Man, what a day. What a day. Uh, feels like we didn't do a lot. But we actually kind of really did. Uh, mostly having to do with the volcano, yes. But it was still fun while it was going on. So next week, we got some interesting things to do. Because you know who we haven't found yet? Know what we haven't done in this playthrough yet somehow? Find Pack'em Bag'em's. So I think next week is um just going to be a quest for Pack'em. A quest for Pack'em. This week, we, uh, you know, we finished it. We finished it. We threw the earring into the volcano. One earring to rule them all. Next week is definitely Roe. Galore and looking for Packham. Hold up. Before we leave, though. Before we leave. I did find some row today. Who'd we get? Did we get any purple groupers? Because that's really all I care about. Uh, no? Question mark? No. It's seriously all tropical fish. That sucks. <laughs> How can it only all be tropical fish? That's kind of insane. I don't think it has anything to do with like, where I placed them. Because... I mean, that's kind of normal placement. But at least I get to show you four tropical fish into a crockpot makes seafood gumbo, which is an unbelievably easy uh, food to get in this game. And now it's going to be super easy for me to get. It's probably going to be my food of choice from here on out. Um, but there we go, everybody. That's it. I'm just rambling on here. But there we go. Seafood gumbo. Nearly 40 hunger is 40 health and 20 sanity. That is so good. So good. I know we didn't fin out, finish out dry season, but uh, you know what? I'm just going to be rolling around looking for Roe off screen because, my gosh, that's boring. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.